Hello everyone, I'm totally on time. I'm not late at all, I promise. I promise I'm not late at all. Welcome in to the atrium. Hi, how you doing? Hello everyone. Welcome in, Yeet. It's good to see you here. I hope you have a fun time while you're here. Hi Drev and uh, Rico. I hope you guys are having a great day. Hey. Um, doing fine? Good, good. I like hearing that. Um, yeah, so... There's this thing that happens, so we're not in the country we live in right now, and so every device has a different time on it. And so I'm just plugging along on the computer making music for the new opening. And uh, it says, you know, it's nine o'clock. And I'm like, yeah, I got some time. I could do the things. I'll be good. And uh, then the place we're staying at right now has housekeeping. The nice lady came by. We did all the things and then looked at the phone to see if any of our friends were streaming. And it was 10 in real life. And I was like, no, why? So, uh, yeah, that's why I'm late. I was occupied otherwise and did not check the appropriate devices. Allergy is still haunting me, but I'm alive. Oh, Reko. Luckily here, my humans did have some really bad allergies, like super bad allergies when they first came here. Literally oh, ham spouse. Space friends. Oh, thanks for the follow, Yeet. Thanks for becoming a space friend. I'm glad to have you around. <laughs> um... Yeah, Ham's spouse uh, came in one day and literally just tears rolling down their face because the trees were pollinating, I guess, right whenever we arrived. And it just culminated in the worst kind of reactions. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I get how humans can have allergies like that. I hope it gets better. I hope you have your, your antihistamine of choice. And that, uh, it goes away here pretty soon. But, uh, yeah, so now that I've explained myself on why I'm not late, uh, we're gonna jump over to the art. All right, let me get into position here. Woo! Here we go. And I, I remember this time I put the pin file in a place where I can actually find it. It is now in a place that makes sense. Hey, Cryptic, welcome in. I'm fixing to give people shout outs. I'm just getting set up. Uh, Yeet, are you a streamer? Because I like to shout out my streamer friends here. And I'll give you a nice little clip shout out. Ooh Too small. There we go. No? Okay. Well, thank you for being here. I totally would have stand you if you needed standing. Um, let me get over here. Let's shout out the space friends that I do know. And I'm going to go in order in which they said hello to me. Can only stay for an hour? That's perfectly fine. I enjoy having you for however long you're here. I understand people got lives and commitments. I'm not that. I'm not that picky. I'm just happy to have you when I have you. So we're going to shout out our friend Reko Gecko. Great artist all around. Amazing reptile friend. <laughs> Ooh, it's the unboxing. When you have the, another another kid, you're like, all right, see you firstborn, welcome number two, number three, and so on. And they're like, but I'm still here, mom and dad, and it's like, I'm sitting back. <laughs> yeah, the the dynamics of uh, multiple siblings, <laughs> it can be uh, a little difficult. But uh, yeah, that's our friend Rico. Uh, has amazing streams, does amazing art. So you guys should go check him out sometime. Never be the firstborn. Yeah, if you ever get isekai'd and you have a choice of which order, be the youngest child. From what I understand, from what Ham has told me, um, if you're in a multi-child family, youngest child has it the easiest. So, 
so whatever truck coon comes for you uh and you do the cosmic reset go for youngest child and then we'll shout out our good friend Drevotion, favorite semicircle let's see come on help me Did I? Ooh, murked. Oh no. Oh, oh come on. Oh, oh hi. Yeah, Drew, what game is this? I'm not sure myself. If it's Commander Ammo. Oh, fuck. If it's Commander Ammo. Oh. Nice. Drew's definitely got some skills. Yesterday, um, I believe it was yesterday, they were streaming. And unfortunately, I can't watch first um, person streams because the graphics mess with my, my eye holes, making me sick. But um, definitely super great person. You should definitely check out Drev sometime. Uh, I'm not sure what that game was. Drev may be otherwise tied up doing some other things, but maybe they'll pop in and tell us sometime. And then I'm going to give a nice shout out to our friend Cryptic Mimic. Gamer, 3D artist. I think it was Payday 2. Okay, Cryptic. Coming in with the save. Payday 2. Oh, hey, it's a new one. <laughs> you I fucking get you. All right. So that was our friend Cryptic. Uh, all around great gamer, great 3D artist, has a lot of really great channel redeems. If you're a person who loves channels with some amazing redeems, you should definitely go check out Cryptic. Definitely worth the stop by. Okay, uh, now that we got those out of the way, let me turn down the sound a bit. We'll turn on our music and we'll get started. Okay. Uh, so we redid the library piece. The original, I didn't like. This was it completed. And I just really wanted it to be better somehow. I don't know. This didn't jive with me. So Reko was here for it. Reko knew, knew the struggle I was going through. I'm going to turn down this music a bit more. Okay, um, so we're going to redo it with a close-up instead, and uh, last time where we left off, we've just got the shelving units and we unwonked them. The struggle is real, but it came out nice. Yeah, it is a nice piece, I just don't think it's going to fit the pattern of images. I don't know how to describe it. This one is super far out and I don't want the wide scenes to happen until like act three. You sound disappointed? <laughs> is it me you're, you're looking, looking for? for? Yeah. Um. I was a little disappointed in this, and I don't know why. It's a perfectly fine piece, right? It's a nice piece, but it didn't hit my brain, like, just the right way, I guess. Like, this one, whenever I was making a Mother's Gift, um, like, it just, the composition really vibed with me. And I think part of it is it's a very close-up image. Uh, that focuses on the main points only. Very simplified, I guess you can say. And then working on the Reaper piece, most of the background's faded out. And again, you're just getting the main focal points. You're not so focused on the background. And so I think with this one, maybe what's just bugging me is that the background is too prominent compared to the other two pieces in the the first set. Now the way the series goes is the first 
it's like basically split into three acts, like a play or something. The first is when the world is very small. You're right, you're a child and you really only know so much. And so it's a very gonna be enclosed kind of feel. And then as we exit the gardens, the world becomes bigger and she becomes smaller uh, in comparison to the world. It's kind of the general patterning of composition that I had in my head whenever I mapped out this series. Will a lore video win? I'm actually working on it. I've got- I'm working on the script and so uh, it's gonna be a series of videos. There's going to be like a mock series trailer and then a set of um, how to care for your Golobian videos. That'll explain a lot of lore. So, uh, it's in the works. I just gotta- I gotta rig some models specifically for the, uh, the Care for Your Globian series. I've gotta rig Tonali. Um, for those of you who may not know, Tonali is our community character. We made him on a Twitter. Uh... We made him on one of those make a character with me Twitter post. And so Tonali is my integration officer. And uh, they help me get accustomed to life on Earth and make sure I'm nice and safe in my my host family and all that good stuff. Um, so it's their job to train the host family as well on how to care for their foreign terrestrial uh, companions. So all these lovely people help me come together and um, make this wonderful character for our community. Which uh, Drev was part of. Um, Drev decided on the skin color. So yeah. Uh, so I need to make a a rig setup. So this is like the concept art, I guess you can say. Now I need to make a specific rig appropriate model. Um, and then once that's done, uh, we can move into recording and editing. Uh, that looks very nice. Oh, thank you. Yeet. Let's see. Nice. Let me know if you need any help. I do some editing. I will probably reach out to you. I'm not all that good at editing right now, I'm still very much learning. And if you go to my YouTube shorts, you'll see what I mean. It's not the best. But... I'm working on it. Okay. So let's, uh, get back to this piece. I need to turn this music down for me a little bit. Messing with my sensor holes. Okay, let me get the sketch back up. I think I'll go ahead and add the books before I work on the, the girl, and then I just won't color necessarily until I have her in. So I'm gonna use the, the brushes I made last time for the original piece just to save on time. So I'm gonna get a kind of black color and we're going to... What's your favorite color? Yellow. Not not because I'm yellow, just because it's the color of sunflowers and those are my favorite. So I just think yellow is a nice happy color. And then a, a close runner-up is like the, the bluish teal color that's really popular in a lot of home goods nowadays. Those are my, my favorite colors. How about you? What's your favorite color? Hmm, let me... Yeah, that's a better size. He's upside down. Purple. Purple's a good color.
That reminds me, um, Tam's spouse is slightly colorblind, and one of the colors they have a hard time perceiving is, um, purple. And so they were playing the Ori sequel, Ori and, um, let me look this up. The Ori sequel. Uh, I don't know if Will of the Wisp was the first one, I think. No, Blind Forest was the first one. So in Will of the Wisp, there's, um, there's the bosses when they attack you, the attack projectiles are purple. And there's a, like, water battle level. And so the, the purple on the, don't forget to hydrate, I will. I do have a couple commands for that, but... By the way, I'm going to get access to Live 2D again, and I've already made out the sound effect. I just need to pair the sound effect with the animation. So, uh, I'm gonna hydrate real quick for my friend Rico. I'm on the phone, and I didn't see the channel points. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't have uh, channel points yet, but I have commands. So like you can uh, exclamation point hydrate or care and exclamation point stretch. So right now, since I'm not like a uh, affiliate, I can't do channel points. So I need to just uh, do commands. Yep, there we go. Okay. So, um, I've got the- I'll, I'll play the sound effect for you. I've got it created. I just need to, like, pair it now. Let me find out where I saved it. You've done a real good job transforming your channel? Thank you. I'm working really hard to learn a bunch of stuff. Coding right now. I'm learning some coding so I could have a custom goals bar too. So that's uh, been an interesting ride. Okay. Let me pause this. So that's going to be the sound effect. So it'll be like this. Whenever I get them paired together. So um, there's that. And then I still have to create the, the sound effect for the stretch. Very cool. Thank you. So... Um, and I'm gonna redo the entire stretch animation anyway, so I'm waiting to get my hands on access to Live 2D again before I uh, make the sound effect for it. So I'm just gonna add some books back here of different kinds. I added some new songs to the music playlist. For those of you who may not know, the, all the music in the background right now is stuff I've made. And the stuff right now, it's going in order of date. So the stuff right now is my older, older stuff from like 2015 and so on. 
but I found some other songs hidden away that I added to the list, like my original theme song from when I was just going to be a YouTuber, and then my um, perfection anxiety got the better of me, and I was like, I better just stream because it forces me to do the thing without being perfect. I re-recorded the first YouTube episode I was going to make. I re-recorded it seven times because, like, the entire thing from start to finish. Seven times because my my perfection noggin was like, no, not good enough. You're not good enough. This isn't good enough. That kind of stuff. So then I was like, you know what? If I stream instead of record, I brought, oh my god, so at times, yeah, I'm, I'm very harsh on myself, but unduly so in a lot of cases. Like Rekka was saying, like, it's a, it's a good art piece that I made that one time. I'm just really hard on myself, especially when it comes to things I make. So, instead, I streamed, and it forces me to not be perfect. It forces me to, you know, be an actual person that makes mistakes and is allowed to. Because, um, otherwise I won't let myself. I think we'll just get this section and I'll race that comic book section there. Let's turn up the eraser. Do you stream for fun? I stream for uh, a couple of reasons. So uh, this was just something I wanted to do for a while, um, is make content of some form. Uh, originally it was going to be YouTube because I was not like internet wise. I hadn't really ever been on Twitch. I knew about it, but I didn't know like how it worked. Uh, or anything like that. Um, but like I said, it, I got too in my head about being perfect. So I was like, I need to stream to be able to actually get things accomplished. And uh, it feels a couple things. So it feels like a social thing because I don't get out and make a lot of friends um, IRL. And so there's a social component, and then uh, there's a fun component, and there's a it's forcing me to learn component. Because my job here on Earth is to learn as much as I can. And uh, if I'm too up in my head about the perfectionist mentality, I'm not really learning, I don't think. So it's, a, it's like a trifold um, necessity thing going on. So it's for fun, I get to make great friends, and uh, it forces me to learn the things that I destruct. I've commented on how I'm a destructive artist. Like these songs from 2015, I don't have their original save files. I destroyed them. If something's not perfect enough in my head, I destroy it a lot of times, and that's been a thing that has been a journey for me getting over. But, uh, I've gotten a little better about it. I'm not deleting things like I used to. And I've been able to actually finish a bunch of things because I stream things that I probably wouldn't have finished otherwise. If you could choose any job in the world, which job would you choose? This one. Like, if this could be my job, I would do it 100 times over. I get to make art, I get to make music, I get to play games, I get to talk to interesting people. Like, if this could be my job, this would definitely be it, 100%. I'm just gonna do an artist cheat. Copy flip.
like this. Right now, this is my dream job. But let's see if screaming wasn't an option for some reason, like the internet just dies forever one day. Um, Sadly, my time is up. I shall take my leave. Bye. Okay, well, thank you for stopping by, Yi. It was nice talking to you. I hope you have a lovely day. And uh, the things you need to do get done quickly and with very little effort, of course. We'll see you later. Uh, but for those wondering, I'll finish the, the statement I was going to make. If, like, streaming wasn't an option, hmm, maybe, uh... Just art, if art's still available. Keep safe, bye, thanks. You too. Let's see, like, um... Commission art is still probably my second dream job. Because I like doing art. Okay, let's get the child in so that I can... Uh, not obsessively paint things that are going to uh, be covered eventually. Let me see. Let me get the, the palette. Here we go. Make sure I'm on the right brush. There we go. Okay, let's get this in. Get the eraser. Kind of define the shape a little better. Let's get the hands. I was just thinking the other day how much my methodology for making art has changed since we first started this piece. Or this series, I mean. Because it's been like, what, two months now? Yeah, I think two months. since we started, and, um... Just, like, the little things that I, I do have changed. Like, my methodology, um... The way I shade things, the way I do... Um... Composition and stuff. Growth is real? Yeah. And there's this, uh, music-wise, I've grown a lot this last couple of months, too, uh, since I started streaming. And, uh, again, this is part of that art makes forces me to learn kind of thing. Um, or streaming forces me to learn. Um, I've gotten a lot better, I think, at composing music. don't need to make the hair that big. There we go. Uh, I've gotten a lot better at composing music. So there's this song called Cement Jungle that I had made in 2015. And when I first started streaming in uh, August, I redid the song. I did a 2022 version and I was was talking with our our very first follower at that point, um, and I was going to talk about, or not talk about, I was going to redo it every year. So every August we're going to be redoing um, Cement Jungle to see how much, we, like prove to me, I guess, how much I've grown. 
over the year. Whoops, I'm on the eraser. I was trying to get some eyebrow in there. Let's um, do the dress next. The, the dress would kind of, since it's loose, it would come down here and you would see her elbows and forearm. I need to paint like that's a, a truth in the world. So like this, probably. And then the lap part. Go back to the skin layer because the safety shorts kind of stop here. I didn't save that color in the color palette. We'll have to come back here. Okay, I just made it the same color as the dress. Oops. There we go. I think I'm gonna do uh, a stretch real quick, because it's been like 40 minutes, so feel free to stretch with me. Get up, move around, do what you gotta do to uh, take care of your body's friends. Not everyone can be uh, as squishy as me. By the way, spines poorly designed. Gotta say, glad I'm an invertebrate. Yes, stretching stretch. By the way, Reko, I love your stretches on stream. Very cathartic watching it. I don't know why. It just uh, scratches a brain itch the right way. It's like, yes! Whole body, let's go. I think it's a, a rare thing to see. Usually it's only upper body. Did I do anything on this layer? No. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring it up. And this can be the book in front. Thanks. It's funny. Was debating stopping those. You can if you want. You know, it's it's yours. But um, you know, if you want to do a quick stretch, that's fine too. It's just whatever helps you stay limber for the uh for the duration of the stream, you know. And if the total body ones just aren't, uh, working out, then I get it. Uh, let's make the book this red color. 
A nice complimentary. I'm gonna go ahead and move the skin layer up. And we'll move the book layer down. I like doing them. I'm just concerned it takes people out of the experience. Well, I can't speak for others, but... I'm on the wrong layer. Um, I can't speak for others, but I know for me, um, it is rather enjoyable. But, you know, I can't speak for others' experiences. You're gonna have to do some good old-fashioned research if you want to find that out. But I do, uh, personally enjoy them. I don't think it takes me out of the experience at all. But if it, it takes you out of the experience, then yeah, definitely change it. True, debating swapping to full VTuber at some point. I'm excited for you. I like your uh, PNG model too. It's really, really adorable. Uh, Jexoi, um, has a VTuber model too, but, uh, he switched back to PNG and now is going ToonTuber route, which is, like, advanced PNG model. He is so cool. Yes, he is. Um, because he feels like it fits his art style better. And it got me to thinking about all the wonderful non-IRL tubers and all the fascinating ways they can express themselves artistically. Like, the whole community of puppet tubers is fantastic. There's one who rigged an animatronic setup to mimic their facial features too, with like a facial recognition, like a, a VTuber model. So, it mimics their face as they stream. Uh, let's get cheese playing in here. Like a giant puppet? Yeah. Um, we have a... A good space friend here called Cup is a Cat, which is like a hand puppet cat. That sounds mad cool, yeah. But I've seen I've seen puppet streamers, like I follow Edrum. And his puppet is like a full size Sesame Street looking puppet. It looks like um almost like a blue version of Grover. So I just, I love seeing the way people express themselves through their, their Twitch avatars and the methods they choose to portray them. Streaming can be done in many formats. Yes, it can. It's a beautiful creative world and I think the art that goes behind it is often overlooked. Oh yeah, that's right. I was going to give her like a cushion. We'll make it the same color as the book. Well, it didn't like that. There we go. For those of you who've been around for a while, I've always had this B2 model. It's what I made for myself. But the original one was very low quality because it was the, the free version. That's not how that arm would go. It'd be like this. Um, uh, uh, Life 2D. 
And then I found some room in my budget for a little while to get the upgraded version. And so now I look a little better. And now we're working on 2.0 model, which is... Since I've learned so much, the movement is just better on that one. As well as all the costume models we're working on. You know, this child's hands are like baby hands. We need to fix that. Let's see, hands, about face size. Whoops, nope, I meant this. Okay, and then I'll shrink down the elbows. There we go. This thumb's a little too out there. Let me turn this off so I can just study the shapes for a bit and see where I need to fill. Okay, I need to fill some spaces here. We need to go ahead and fill in these. Like this. Oh, this is one of those I recently added to the playlist. And this is it. This is my original theme song. Let's get there. Beep beep boop, yep. I'm going to turn down this outline. come out and fix this arm shape here in a minute. It reminds me of this cool alien sounding frame from Mega Man 9. It does! I never realized it. Oh. I know which one you're talking about. It's an 8-bit theme for a character called Galaxy Man. Yes. Yes, let me pull it up. Let me... Is Mega Man's, um... Copyrightable? Are they litigious about the Mega Man's music? That would suck if it was. Such a cool theme. Yeah, I'm trying to pull it up now. So that people know what's in our heads right now.
YouTube be so kind as to help me play this music? Let's see. Galaxy Man theme. Go away. Thank you. Do, 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 do. We're just gonna listen to this for a while. Best theme in the game. Come over here and fix these sleeve shapes. because I chose the extended 30 minute version. Dope. Yeah, I, I knew this song was going to be the one I had to listen to. songs when you hear its name and you picture it in your head it's like oh I gotta listen to that now can't not do it I do about 35 I think books did you guys like reading as as a young one? Are you a Mega Man fan? Only um really of the the, the pre-3D Mega Man. That's what I'm gonna say trying to say. Uh the bit Mega Man. Whenever they're in their bit forms, yes, I love it. I love the music, I love playing them. And the original Mega Man anime. Just because history, that's why. do is I'll do... go back here. Mm -hmm. 
and we'll kind of do a, a bit where it's like coming up but only touching on the edges. Like it's mid-turn. I think I need to bring this line. Hey, OB, welcome in. Good to see you. I'm going to give you a shout out here in a second. We're listening to, to uh, the Mega Man 9. It, galaxy uh, man uh, uh, music right now. Oh, thank you. Beep. Thanks for the boop. Okay, let me let me let me pause Galaxy Man. Um, so I can shout out our space friend Opie. Let's see which one of the four clips we get. I can't believe we haven't hit a single cave system. It's, it's the lava one. Oh, it's lava. Oh. No! <laughs> oh no, guys. Get out. Um, help. Where are oh, you? Oh, oh no, I'm all right now. Okay. I was to say, I'm also lava resistant, so I'm good. Yeah, I don't know if Opie's good, though. There's one with cryptic. Ooh, maybe we'll get that someday. Let's see. Oh, also, there was this thing I wanted to do. I don't know if I could do it. Let me see if I can do it. Ah, the spinning mute one. Yep. And thank you for the shout out. No problem. I like standing in my space friends. Too loud! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to blast your guys' ear holes. I'm sorry! I'm sorry, Opie! I didn't mean to jump scare you. Let's see if I can do this. I don't know technology. I don't know how to get out of this window now. Well, I I really suck at this. There it is. Okay. easy way to do this? Hold on. I will figure out how to do it later for the sake of keeping things moving. Uh, here. I hope your day's been lovely. You know, aside from my jump scare. The 25 is good. Yeah. And then I need to redo the page a little bit with the brush. got a much better shape to it. Art is coming out nice. Thank you. I think composition wise I am a little bit more vibing with this one. Uh, 
Um, there's this line here I'm trying to get rid of. There we go. I think this one matches the theme of the layouts more. Uh, for the first act. Let's get a spine. Hmm, I need to more like this. And then we can do the little bubble there. Get the skin details in. What did I just undo? That's what I ended. Switch to eraser. I need to probably make these fingers longer. And fix their shape a little bit. Maybe something like this. What shape is your guys' hands? So there's a percentage of people where their middle finger is longer than the rest of their fingers, but there there is some individuals where their fingers are like pretty close in size. How do your hand do? Ham's hand has the longer middle finger. There we go, I think that's much better. Shape wise. Middle be longest? to do some pixeling work right here. I didn't realize how many gaps this one had. this one and redo it. It was kind of curved there. I'm gonna have to do some reworking on this one too. Same. Same reason. Dare I? Dare I do a copy paste? 
Nah, we'll, we'll make it individual. Let's see, how long did I make the other one? Do it! Okay. So I'm gonna... Just chop this one off. And then we're gonna select these two. Oh, we'll start with this one. Copy paste. Flip! And we'll do the same thing for the... The detail lines here. Set this order of things real quick. Make sure these are a max. Yep. Okay. Let's turn this down a bit. About 50, I think. And then we'll do the, the nose and the mouth. We have the appropriate color too. I don't know. How do I want to shape this nose? I think here. It's a good shape. Nice, consistent shape. I think it's like that. Thanks for the stream. Time to work. Well, thanks for stopping by while you had the chance. I hope you have a lovely day at work. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Um, mouth. It's gonna be kind of down here. I think we'll do 60. I think I want it a little darker than the lines. We'll do 75. Let's see. Um, eyeball. Let's, let's work on some eyes. Kind of like the imperfect a little better. I do need to move that a little closer to the face, the nose. I think I need to fix this hairline. Or shape now too.
Okay, then we can come in here and fix the... That's an eraser. Get some brow indication in here. Need to change that one's position a little. Just get the brow separated like such. About 35, I think, is good. And then we'll do some eyebrow line. I think 60 is good. And then we'll come in here. Get the lighter version. Turn this off now. I just gotta do the airplane slides and then we can move into shading. Let me fix this part here. Or did it fill all the way? Maybe I need to get some detail lines so it looks like she's sufficiently sitting on it. Well, she's not sitting on that part there. Okay. 
Okay, now we can start with the... The shading. Okay, so this part here, underneath her for sure. And then we'll do like a rim of where it kind of moves in. From where she's sitting on it. And I'll get a light. Gonna lurk while well, working on redeems. Go ahead, Cryptic. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Thanks for uh, stopping by and giving me the lurk. I like having you around. Let's do some lighting. Just on the top parts here. in the short. go fix that one line to fit that a little better. I need to get some crunchy lines anyway in the, the arm area. Let's go back and redo some of these details. I wanted to change this one to be lighter so I could see. And let's get some branches in here. Let's um there's some fixing that needs to be done here too. On the base. on this part. Okay, back to shading. Da -da 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 -da. some of the plane's light on the shoulder. Okay, 
I think I'm at 60, so fine. Get some lighting. Probably here in the lap, where the knees come up. It'd be a little lighter. Maybe here on the tops of the forearms. Run it way down though. Oh, song's ending. Alright, we'll go back to the music I had on before. There we go. Let's see. I think I need to turn it a little more. Maybe about 10 is good. Gonna group these. group that, that's why. Rip! There we go. It was just gray, right? Yep. Down nice and low. Maybe we should have magic nonsense coming out of the book. I'll think about it. For now, I'm just going to focus on the shading. to fix this. There's a line here. Maybe we should also get a general fading. I'll do that on a different layer so I can fade it properly. Just to get the, the book tilt shading. About 10, I think, will do good. Oh, I also need to come back down here and add the edge. too far out with that one. There we go. Because we would be seeing kind of like the top edge there. Let me fix that shape a little. And then I think I'm going to fix this edge. To be a little more uniform along that lip. Give it more shape. Definition. Okay. 
Okay. Can group these. Let me go ahead and get, we will have a little bit of light on that rim here. Turn that opacity down. Let's um, come up here and get some skin details. I got a my undertones brush. I need to turn that way up. to go more brown. Turn it down a bit. You're a little too prominent there. And then the age old debate to fingernail. Or not to fingernail. I think it'd be best to leave them off. I don't think I have them in any other picture. We'll see. Yeah, I don't. So, we'll leave those off. I will do the shading. You want to be seeing the bottom part of the, the nose at all, so we'll leave leave that off. Five is good, and we'll get some highlights.
thinking about for the spice. Okay, let's group these. I'm gonna go ahead and put the eyes in this layer. Let's figure out some shadows for the hair. Now we're going to have the plain light like here, so we need to leave that area. I think I'll have a little here. Here. A little bit here. And then I need to get my wild bush. Turn these down. About 50%. And I'll grab this color, go back in these areas and paint them the same way. Same for these. Okay, let me do the lighting now. We'll come down here. This is just the general lighting. I need to go back to this brush. Seven, a good enough one. And then same with these layers. As we did with the shadow, we'll do it with the white. I think 15% is good there. Again, about 15% seems right there. 
And then we will do our cheese plain lighting. Get the gold lighting here. get it to kind of it'll be a little brighter than the, the shirt not by much I think 55 and then we'll go and add it to these places where it touches as well this one too. And then I'm going to get another one and right here since it's the closest we'll add a little brighter color there. Then I think I'm going to come back down here lower this one down to the 45. Okay, let me group all these. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this. We'll drag this to the top. Make this an add layer and a bullwort. I think you get our shine. Now we just need to lower the opacity a bit. And then I think I'll do duplicate of this. We'll go under. We'll do a, a larger blur. I need to get the, the shines on it. Get into a little bit red here. Turn this down so we can see the shine. I think 70 is good. A little less now that I've lowered that brightness there. I'll do 45. Okay, and now we can paint the books. I'm actually going to merge down. Let's merge all the book lines together. This is essentially going to be a sketch layer now. We'll turn that down. Okay, let's get...
Let me actually go to my randomized color randomizer and we'll start with this red color. Let me increase the size actually. Just kind of get the colors down that I want. Real quick. I'm going to raise them down to where they need to be. So I got room to work. I'm gonna start each one on a new layer and then I'll merge them down. We can keep our layer count down. Okay, and then we need to Get a little bit of the corner here. Okay, and I'll go back and fill any lines I need to later. I'm just gonna go paint all these non de script books. Done with this section. I think this one needs to come in a little bit more. Yeah. Make sure I'm doing these on separate layers. I think that one's a little too close. Let's try again. This is one of the brushes I made that just gives me a different color. And it specifically was made for things like this, where I need to get a whole bunch of different colors down. So that's why I don't have to keep going into the color picker.
Oops, I lifted up on that one. Get this corner and then the comic books at the bottom. That one's a little too close to the shelf filler. I don't know why I did a clipping mask on that one. I think that one's shape is actually fine. Okay, and then there's these comic books down here. They don't have anything on their spine. I'm gonna turn down the size for these ones. Since they're not that thick. That one's too close. I'll fix that edge up there in a second. To switch back to my normal brush. Fix this real quick. And then I'll fix up anything that needs to be refined. Let me turn the lines off real quick. Yep, those look fine. Okay, let's see. We've got just a little bit of time. So instead of starting on the other books, I think I'm going to... I 
uh, do some shading effects over here. Let's turn it up. The brush. Get them where the spines touch. And then about here, we'll change it up because of the cheese plane. Same with this area. I think 15% is fine. Let's get this color here. I need to go back and add the light effect to the shelf too. Thing like that. I'll make it larger the closer it gets to the, the plane. Maybe 50. I'm zooming out so I can see kind of the thumbnail. I think what we'll do, I'll add that later. We'll make like this end here darker. To compensate for the focus. Let me go ahead down here. Let's add the light to the shelving. more of this rim. A little bit of this. A lot of this rim. A little bit of this one. I think about 25. I'm going to fix this edge a little. I think it should be a little more tapered over here. Because it's like fading away at that point. And then, uh, yeah, we're out of time. So, let's pause this. Let me get rid of my pen and let's get uh, over here. Right, right here. Okay, so that's all the time we have for today. But I had a great time. Uh, we'll continue this next week. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow making music. If you guys would like to come join us, we'll be working on the music for our starting soon. And maybe even the Be Right Back, uh, the new pages. So that'll be fun. Uh, let's see if we have a friend we can raid.
Let's see if we can find anyone else doing art like we did art. All my friends are playing games today. That's fine. We can go play games. Let's go raid Animon. Animon Master. So thank you everyone for stopping by today. I had lots of fun. And until next time, have fun space friends! <laughs>